Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Arts Creations, and this is the Debbie December Readathon. So, next month for December, to honor Debbie Maycomer, we are doing a Debbie December Readathon. This kind of works out perfect because Debbie Maycomer is known for her Christmas books, her Angel Intervention books, her Mrs. Miracle Christmas books, so everything kind of to do with December. There are several co-hosts for this one. There's myself, Storm from Storm Reads, Tiffany from The Beach Bum Bookworm, Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Loves Books, and Sarah from The Bookish Knitter. So go, I will have everybody linked below. You can go watch their videos, their announcements, any reading suggestions they're gonna put out. You can check out everybody and get all the information. So we do have a mini bingo board. So let's go over the prompts. Before we get into that though, just a few things. This is running for, for all of December. You can double and triple up. You don't have to follow the prompts. This is just for fun. If you read one Debbie May Comer book, you have participated in Debbie December. This is the, the bingo board is just for fun and to add a little extra to it. So if you want to play along, that's great. Uh, you, like I said, you could double and triple up. So one book can get you a bingo, however you want to make it work. This will also not be policed. So if you want to interpret something a certain way, go for it. So first prompt is category. Debbie Maycomer got her start in writing in category romance. So there's plenty of backlists that you can read to fulfill the prompt of category romance. Next up is series. Debbie also has a ton of different series out. Off the top of my head, you have Cedar Cove, Blossom Street, Angel's Intervention, the Navy series. There's so many out there. So this is a pretty easy prompt to get. Next is a Christmas book. Again, she does uh, like the Mrs. Miracle Christmas, Angel's Intervention. There's a ton of other books, even within the series, there's Christmas books. Um, she just, uh, Debbie is known for loving the spirit of Christmas. So these are pretty easy to find as well. Next is a book with a water view on it. Debbie lives in Port Orchard, Washington. So a lot of her books take place either in a fictional similar setting um, around Alaska, on the coast. So it's, it's a popular theme that she has of a water view on a lot of the covers. Next is a book set in Alaska. She does have quite a few of these. I can actually think of one. I can't think of the title off the top of my head, but it is set in Alaska and takes place at Christmas. So right there, you could get your two prompts. Next is a book that was turned into a movie. Usually for Debbie Maycomer, you can find them as Hallmark movies. A little list that I have really quickly is Mrs. Miracle, Call Me Mrs. Miracle, um, Trading Christmas, which is based on Debbie Maycomer's novel, When Christmas Comes. Mr. Miracle, Dashing Through the Snow, which I think was the Alaska book I was just talking about, and A Mrs. Miracle Christmas. Next is a location. Um, a pretty easy prompt for these would, to be, would be to read any of the Cedar Cove series books because they all start with a an address. So um, I think like 1225 Christmas Drive or like 92 Yakima Avenue. Those are how the um, Cedar Cove series goes. Also, though, you could do um, like Texas Two Step, which is part of the Heart of Texas series. Texas is a location. So you could use that one for that. There's a lot that you could find like that. Next up is flowers. You could find these all over the um, Blossom Street series. So many of the books, like if it's a spring cover or summer cover, will have flowers. If there's a house on the cover, there's always flowers there. 
Um, so this will be a super easy one and can easily get you a double and triple up. And last is lights. This could be any type of light source on the cover. I think this could work for a sunset. I think this could work for Christmas lights, just twinkle lights, the sun. There's so many ways you could interpret lights. So be creative with this one. And I think it'll be very easy to get. So that's it. Those are the prompts for the readathon as well as the rules for the readathon. I hope you enjoy. If you've never read a Debbie Maycomer, I would always describe them as a cozy mystery without the cozy, um, lighthearted, heartwarming, um, just that like feel good for your soul type of books. Um, and if you've ever read a Debbie Maycomer, you already know that. I look forward to seeing if it's your first time or whether you're like a Debbie veteran like myself. It, what you come up with reading and seeing what you enjoy and just seeing if you can get any of the prompts if you want to challenge yourself for that. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.